Hello everybody and welcome to Train Sim World 4. Today we are at Doncaster and we will be going to Grantham, I believe, in this class 805 in the Avanti West Coast livery. Um, these trains are yet to enter service. I'm not sure if any of them actually exist yet. I believe they're meant to enter service this year or next year, so they're probably some do exist. Anyway, let's get straight in. This is a uh, regular timetabled service, so no time to lose. Set that to forwards, that to unlocked. All of that will turn on. Set this to dimmed. And that's more or less it. And uh, we're just going to grant them no stops in between. We are bang on time leaving here, so no no walkers. I don't actually know that much about the class eight o fives, which I believe this is. So I will have a look. Oh no, they're in service. Oh, the, the, some of them have arrived. I have to say, I do like how the um, Hitachi A trains look. I think they look stunning, especially the IETs. I think they look stunning. Um, from an operational perspective, they're a little bit boring, but they look phenomenal um, and almost all of the liveries really suit the either the yellow stripe down the front or the black stripe down the front i like that and they're also fairly colorful liveries as well the gwr i like lner's fantastic avanti doesn't look bad so they're by modes to replace the class 221 voyagers Are they? Oh yeah, they are by mode. Okay, yeah. And they've got additional class 807s, which are electric only. Alright. And then there's the Eight. What are the 804s? Because they skipped 804. Ah, uh, okay. So the 804 became the 810, which are East Midlands IETs. Grab that. Uh, they look nice as well in the EMR livery. They've EMR have opted to stick with the yellow stripe on the front, and they're replacing the two two two. So it looks like a sort of Voyager mass layoff. <clears throat> I hope the two two twos, especially. I hope they can find another home because they're quite new. Well, here we go. This is a bold claim. EMR intends the seats to be the most comfortable on the network when they are introduced. Interesting. We'll see if that's true or not. It is good that they're building them locally, though, in Durham. built the class 385, 800, 801, 802, 803, 805, 807 and 810. Yeah, right. Wow. Okay. Nice little yard. 
Shall we grab a screenshot? I think we might as well. All right, field of view, we will drop down. Maybe get out of the trees, perhaps. Is there? Yeah, let's come out of it. Focal point. Uh, depth of field, sorry, we'll drag that down. Focal point. There we go. Exposure, perhaps we'll... Oh, no, let's not play with that too much. Or we could pump it up and lower the brightness. And maybe increase the saturation. Haven't really, like, found a use for the vignette. Because it's not... Like, oh, wow, big deal. I guess you could do that and sort of make a bit of a emphasis on on the unit. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad at all. There we are at 125. <clears throat> 43 miles to go, and at this speed it will take about 20 minutes. Although that's as the crow flies, and the route is certainly not. It's pretty close, but we got a few little turns in there. All right, bit more speed. One, two, four. Right, and we'll drop back down to power one. I'll drop to neutral. Got that 110 limit coming up. I shouldn't be any adverse signals. We're not coming up against anything. Uh, I wouldn't have thought, although that's probably something worth checking. Uh, although, kind of... Let's not check, let's just see how it comes. Not go into the route map for the rest of the video. What an intense offering. That cut itself out of the brakes, that wasn't very good. Gonna lose a few points. Oh no! You know, now that they've got driver assist, because the original... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the original um, reason for not having all of these uh, programma fully programmable assets was because, you know, oh, well, they have a special code that the user's not going to know. Why don't they have a driver assist pop-up that tells the user the code? Because you can just press T and it comes up 1 alpha 1 9, which is the code. But why don't you just... Like at the beginning of each service, have a or a, have a, a mapped button that says, you know, or like you press escape and it pops up in the overview as your root code, like up here or something. I don't know, just a thought. Anyway, we'll get back up to 125. Looks like a double yellow. Green, all right. I'm assuming that was from a level crossing then. One twenty three, one twenty four, one twenty five. 
Oh, we'll leave it in notch one. Why not? What's that? Is it just an overbridge or is that a tunnel as well? Is it just an overbridge with some foliage creating like a halo? And I pumped up my uh, LOD settings uh, in the INI. The foliage doesn't look that awful anymore. Uh, I do feel for console users though. <coughs> right, got a relief loop. Get back up to 125, there it is. Right, flowing around this curve. Back onto the straights. Yeah, let's be real, it's not the most interesting bit of the line. One thing as well that I'd like Dovetail to work on, not that they will, is a sort of better integration between the track bed and the um, soil is it sort of like TS classic levels of non uh, not mixing yeah it's just a straight line more or less from one texture straight to the other and it would be cool if they had a sort of you know the stray bit of ballast hanging out I know on new railways, the ballast is... But on new railways, the ballast is, like, basically silver. But on this, you would imagine the ballast be a little bit more thrown out. There's another 801. A long unit. Lovely stutter. Who doesn't love a bit of stutter? Game really demonstrating all of its performance there. come off the hill and I believe is this is this even a station might not be no oh no is it yeah it is Retford of course how could I forget sunny Retford Okay, and we shall leave it in throttle two and throttle one as so we cruise along at 120 miles an hour. Lovely signal box there. Okay, coming down to 115. Another 801. Oh Christ, that's quite laggy. Another long unit. Go notch three, I reckon. Power two, whistleboard. That'd be a cool, pl cool place to do some train spotting, I reckon. I mean, it's nowhere near as busy as if you went between, you know, Stevenage and Peterborough. <coughs> but you know, still some reasonable speed and horn.
Get a decent horn show and you wouldn't even need to wank for it. Yep, speeding. Another... Oh no, this is a sort of proper tunnel. No. Sort of feels like Dovetail have toned down the um, eye adaptation. That might just be my mind playing tricks on me. It might be my eye and eye settings pulling it down without me knowing, but feels a bit nicer. Because uh, remember back in Train Sigma 3, it was pretty awful. You know, every time you come out of a tunnel, you're blinded. But alas, it's not bad actually. I mean, I'd still prefer if there wasn't nearly as much, but... Some improvement, or minor improvement, is about all you can expect from Dovetail, I guess. Right, 125. Signal being a bit jumpy. Oh yeah, I just realised um, something Dovetail could do. They could add level crossings to the track monitor as well as stations. You know, if this is a new big thing on the HUD, it could genuinely be something that genuinely be something interesting. Right round the curve, that is a double yellow. We'll hold on, yeah, just jumped up to green. There's these level crossings ahead of us that aren't cleared fully by the time we're approaching the signal. And you can tell that because if it was an actual double yellow for a train, this signal would most certainly be double yellow if, we only, if it only just cleared once we got past the last one. Because there's signalling protection where the signal won't clear unless the level crossing has been... Uh, the gates have been lowered and it's been checked to be clear by um, either someone there in a crossing box or um, someone in a control centre via the internet. But certainly in the US and most of Australia, the gates come down, the signal's always green nothing stopping a train if there's something on the track and they've been you know they're rolling out these detection pods is that radar pods but whether they'll actually do anything who knows now i mean they can't be applied to every crossing but i mean neither can a crossing box or a man in a control center really Whistle board. Lovely. Another double yellow. And just as we get past. Right. One twenty four. Where's one twenty five? There it is. 
power one. Oh, interesting, lovely, dead straight piece of track. It's like the Nullarbor Plain, but with more infrastructure and more interesting and with trees and with grass and dirt, that's a big one. Regular trains rather than one every six hours. Which, I mean, considering for the middle of a desert is still pretty frequent. In fact, I can pull up the actual full timetable. Because ARTC are good like that and actually publish it. <coughs> City trains. And network rail. Oh no, network rail do publish the working timetable, do they? I think so. Whoop. Do -do 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 -da. Master train plan. Another crossing box. South Australia to Tarkula. Got Wyala to Adelaide. Cook. Uh, we'll go west Kalgoorlie to Cook. And there we are. On Monday. One, two, three, four, five trains. Wow. Four trains on Tuesday. Oh, almost fully booked. Six trains on Wednesday. Look at that. Right, we'll get some brakes coming down for that hundred. Yeah, not a very well traffic line. How many trains on Saturday? Oh, Saturday's a, a busy day. Is that seven trains and then five on OMG the uh oh Christ what is this oh it's put me under the map that's super helpful there you go it's so buggy you can just glitch your way out most of the time there's a sun that side let's leave it on this side Right, let's see what that does. Just move forward. Oh, okay, underground again. Gonna move. Let me let me leave. Perhaps let me leave the ground. It's interesting that the whole underground is uh, water, but I guess you know it's possible to do that way. Why wouldn't you? Oh my good god! Are you. Why is there a crash barrier for the railway? Trains barreling off. Right, fuck it. Ah! Sticky horn. I believe that was it. We can go back up to 125 now. That's still a double yellow. And green. Ding. Nice to see the sunflower being removed as it should be. Who doesn't love a good electro star, hey? I'm always going to bring that up without fail. If I don't bring that up, something's wrong with me. Okay, hey, there's 115 again. Probably should get another screenshot at some point. Let's do it here. Where's the sun? Oh, the sun's on that side. Okay. Let's just move a little bit forward. It'd be good if photo mode just pointed you at the train. That would be helpful to say the least yeah, i don't even need to play around with the lighting do i
All right. Saturation. Oh, that's a bit bit much. Leave it there. Vignette. Oh, la la. Wow. Don't know why I'm mocking it as I'm actively using it. That's class is what it is. All right. Coming back up to 125. 12 miles left on our run to Grantham. Shut up. Uh, come on. Work with me, game. Okay, what's this? Double yellow. Oh, 801, ready for some stutter. Oh, lovely. We're running at 70 FPS. Not bad. Good size. Fucking good fish. Right, a little bit more power. Level crossing. And a relief loop on the down line. And another level crossing. And another level crossing. And another relief loop. Okay, bit of a downgrade here, power off, actually we do need a bit of power still. Fuck it, full power, why not? Right, fuck it! Full power! Right, there's 125 again. Not yet seeing any approach control, uh, so all happy that I mean, I don't know why I would be. We're still seven miles out. Another 801, let's pop up our lagometer. Whoa, four, five, oh, two. That is quality stuff. Two frames a second. I swear to God, this fucking game. Oh, let's roll out our fourth title. Is there any optimization? No! But, but, there's some new suspension that won't work. And uh, some new scoring that, that won't work. Simply do not worry. And we're adding all this cool stuff that's going to be protected behind the mastery paywall. It's not a mastery paywall, it's just a mastery effort wall this is a simulator there's no shouldn't be any progression there it's just fucking sim you pay for the product you get the product it's not that hard to grapple with especially when dovetail aren't profiting off someone's mastery award well maybe they are guess if it increases playtime perhaps 
perhaps they'd be more inclined to buy another route. I don't know. I've got no idea what I'm talking about. When were we meant to get there? Oh, let's see. Right, we'll still get some power up. Got three minutes to go, f or three and a half minutes to go, three and a half miles. But we're doing two miles a minute, so that's not an issue. Do, do. And these things can stop from full speed in a, about a mile, so. <clears throat> no whackers there, mate. No fucking whackers. Oh, I can't read the speedo. It's too bright. It's too dark when you're outside and too bright when you're inside. It's uh, the worst of both worlds. A little bit of brightness there. Ding a ling. this double yellow this would be our approach control almost certainly oh no it isn't because it's oh it could be actually let's go for some hefty breaks now Right, there's our 100 limit. Oh, laggy, laggy Grantham. Right, that's not, that's, that's, that's a problem. That's a minor problem, that signal. Where, oh, is it at the end of the platform? Man, the route monitor conveys scale so poorly. So much time. But there it is. Oh, the lag. The lag. I don't know how I braked so soon. We've got to pull right up to the end of the platform. We've got a long train. All right. Minimum break, full break. Doors, pull that back to neutral. And there we go. There we go indeed. Class 805. Right, and we shall. How much was that? 490 points? What's that for? I was on the money. On the money on that stop. How come I've had 10 points docked from me? Ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. On time bonus 80. Accuracy bonus 160. What's the maximum on time bonus, I wonder? I'd assume it's 250 points for stopping. So I lost... 10 points for, from the on-time bonus. So they took 10 points off because I was... 
10 seconds early? That's ridiculous. That's, that's ridiculous. Not that it makes a difference. I still got platinum, but... <laughs> they can't do scoring, my goodness. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.